extra. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Magpie! And this Monday, actually last Monday, I just want to say a huge thank you for your response to my feedback organ video. It's been very overwhelming. A lot of emails and a lot of nice comments to read. So I'm just super excited. So many cool ideas in the comments. So thank you very much. I've been spending this week exploring three. But yeah, in this video, I am very excited actually to show you something that I haven't made. The Mooditron by Moody Sounds. And I want to make it crystal clear right off the bat, even though this video is not necessarily sponsored per se, but me and Moody Sounds, we're extremely affiliated. Like Moody Sounds, ever since I started making anything actually, I have been buying my components over at Moody Sounds. Not all of them, but many of them, because he's like the only, at least to my knowledge, pedal component supplier, like specifically knobs and enclosures and, you know, he sells all kinds of stuff. So he has a shop and he also makes some really interesting instruments, this being one of them. So, I mean, there will be a link in the description and Feel free to click it if you want to. Uh, checking out Moody Sounds is definitely something I would personally recommend. I kind of sponsor him, you know, since I pay him most of my money. But yeah, we have a very long standing good relationship. We even order some stuff together. And I wanted to show this, which is one of his own inventions, his own instruments. And I call it a guitar theremin because that's essentially what it is. You have it, this lap steel looking thing and you get a thing like that. I made my own one and mine is really, really cool looking in my opinion. But all you do is you slide over here. I'm gonna do it in a second. And you don't have to necessarily tune the strings at all. You just want a tension for it. And then you have some controls here and actually two outputs and two CV outputs. I haven't really explored that yet. So I'm gonna do that maybe in this video. Then it outputs two notes. So it's one note for each of the edge strings and they are connecting to this center string, which is what I think is the reference string, which is made of a material that is resistant. So it's called tentacruel almost, <laughs> you know, it's one of the tentacles from tentacruel here. Regardless, what it means is that you get this lovely Theremin sound. By sliding. Which is really, really cool. Never have I ever come across anything like it especially in way of playing. And since it's two notes, you can set the pitch, which is like the bass pitch, the lowest. And then it goes from there up to really high. But that on two different ones means that you can set an interval. Yeah, <laughs> it feels really good to play. And I kind of want to put effects on it right away because it is very naked sounding as it on. Uh, the controls didn't go through. We have the pitch, set the pitch. Then we have response and response is like how long it takes to start up, which is kind of cool if you start here and go downwards or start there and go upwards. because it's like coming in at the same time as it's pitching up or down. So that's kind of a cool sound effect that you can do. But uh, let's make it a bit
I definitely end up in a slide with lift territory. <laughs> of just... What? If we just have something to play to, then maybe that's gonna be cool. If not, then I have an, a hat that I can eat. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, really starting to get to know it. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm not an expert at playing this. But I will be. By the time of the return of the Jedi King. Since you don't strum it at all, you can very much have a right hand type of deal. I almost wish like the thing that you grab was sort of attached to it. And then with your left hand, you can do a lot of control stuff. And I kind of wish that it had a lot more controls because that would be really cool. Like incorporating a reverb and a delay would be really dope to have on it like I have done now. But I do truly appreciate the nakedness of it because it means I can just pick all of those things myself. But I don't know. Before I end, I want to see what happens if I CV. But I, I don't really have much to control with CV, but I can see you, V, lights. <laughs> a very modular setup there. <laughs> There I was just controlling the pitch of another oscillator. 
Because I really don't have any CV stuff to play around with. I apologize. I'm terribly sorry about that, but I assume you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Also forgot to mention the octave switches. You can go very basic and have them this far apart. Which is really cool, like to have one in sub-territory like that.